Okay, so I have, I'm running over, I'm running over bubble wrap. Who doesn't like bubble wrap? Anyways, I've been using this, this machine now for probably about the past, I want to say past week, we can change. Um, and I have actually been using this machine pretty much as my uh, workhorse for the last week since we've got back. Um, and I've been using this Mac Mini M2 Pro instead of my Mac Studio. Now I put up some comparison videos uh, in the in the past week, comparing this against the Mac Studio and comparing it against the old M1 uh, MacBook Pro. And uh, really benchmarks and comparison videos and stuff like that are really great, but really the uh, question is, do I like it? So here's a, here's a simple answer to that question. Yeah, no, it's a great machine. Now, I don't know if the standard M2, because I've never used the M2, would be probably just enough for most people. And if you can go from, you know, $800 Canadian for, you know, or $1,000 Canadian, I guess, if you get to the one with um, the bigger hard drive, which you should, uh, up to this one, which Canadian-wise comes in at $1,700, is necessarily worth the investment um, because on my M1 MacBook, uh, can I edit on my videos? Yeah. Do I have any issues? No. Does it run everything the way that I would like it to? Yeah. Is there? Uh, is it a games machine? No. But I, that's not a games machine. It's a productivity machine. You know. Um, now switching to the M2 Pro, is it just faster? Yeah, and I think that's where uh, this machine, especially if you are on uh, any kind of budget, really is a great stepping stone or an area for those that are just like, yeah, you know what? The last M1 was good. It was first generation M1. I was a little lenient toward getting it because I just didn't know how it was going to perform. And yes, everybody on YouTube was raving about it. Um, but then the M... One Max came out with a studio and you're like, oh, that's kind of, I like that one. That would be the one I want. And then you looked at the price and you're like, no, it's not the, not the one I want. And even for someone like myself that does, you know, YouTube videos daily, you know, one video for sure, sometimes more than one. Uh, I went to the studio and was hesitant because of the price. Let's, let's just admit it. It's not a cheap machine, right? So uh, I ended up spending $3,000 Canadian on my Mac Studio 32 core GPU, uh, bigger hard drive. Um, but that's not, that's, that's, that's a lot of overkill for a lot of people. A lot of people kind of want to hit somewhere in the middle. And I would say the M2 Pro in the Mac Mini hits kind of two thirds. And in some aspects, it hits closer to the studio than you might think. Um, yes, there are gonna be certain areas that the Mac Studio outperforms it, and, and that's gonna be very much based on anything that requires or really utilizes all the GPU cores because it just has more. I think this one tops out at like 19 cores, I think it is, whereas, or it starts at 19 cores. I can't remember, you can read it up in the stats, whereas mine has 32 cores, so it's got more. So of course it's gonna be quicker, right? Um, but I think if you are a an occasional video editor or a hobbyist or an advanced hobbyist video editor or uh, advanced or hobbyist photographer, or if you want a machine that you think you can buy now and it's going to have a much longer lifespan just in regards to performance, then um, this is going to this is going to do you fine. And even if I didn't buy the Mac Studio. I think this would probably be the machine that I would buy, or at least it would be, it would be really, really close. Now there are a few things for me that I would probably add to this just to get it to the machine that I would want. But at that point, you know, you you are really on a fine line between uh, Mac Studio and Mac Mini M2 Pro. 
right? And the, the upgrades that I would do to this, I think a couple upgrades. Number one is that I would go to a terabyte hard drive for sure. Uh, I would go to uh, 32 gigs of RAM because you know what, 16 gigs of RAM, even in all our testing was good, as long as you're not running a lot of software at the same time. And for a lot of us, especially those of us that are creative people, you will, or if you're just business people, software nowadays uses more RAM than we ever thought it would. So having that extra RAM gonna be good. So one terabyte, yes, more RAM, yes. And again, for future proofing yourself a little bit down the road, just because it's not a huge investment in money, I would probably go to uh, the 10 gig uh, ethernet port so that if you decide in the future that you would like to go to uh, run like a, a NAS system or something like that, then you got a nice high speed uh, option for that. Um, the other reason for me, like for a lot of people that, you know, I looked at this machine and I'm not gonna be keeping it cause I have my studio. I don't need both of them. Um, if you look at the M2 Pro over the M2, uh, and really the only real difference is uh, four lightning ports, USB-C ports, uh, versus two on the M2. Uh, that could be a big, that could be a big, big thing, right? So you are gaining that. And if you were to look at an external, uh, like a USB-C hub or, or an external lightning uh, hub or docking station, whatever you want to call it, you know, Canadian wise, you're, you're probably going to spend two, three, four hundred dollars for a USB-C one. And you may spend even more possibly for an actual Thunderbolt one. So, um, if you're someone that just needs an extra couple ports, the pro is kind of nice. It gives you four, which is good. Uh, a few things that I would like to have seen, of course, which I know it's not coming anytime soon. And really the big one, I would love to have seen somewhere, somewhere on this little thing, somewhere with all this space. I know there's not a lot of room back here, but uh, I would love to have seen just an SD card reader. That's all. SD card reader would have been cat's meow, whatever that means, right? Um, then this machine would have been awesome because pop your card in, now there's nowhere to put your card in. So that's kind of a limiter. That's a big plus on a studio. Seems silly, but it is. Uh, again, you can get docking stations that have all that stuff in it. So, you know, what if you're buying a docking station, you're, you're good to go. Um, uh, it's, it's a fantastic machine. And I, and I do think if you're coming for an M1 um, and you're looking at a computer right now, the M2 Pro is good. Again, I don't know what the M2 is like. It's supposedly it's, it's, it's an increase for sure, but I think the uh, multi-core performance increase is where the Pro really shines. Uh, and uh, I think if you are contemplating the uh, studio, if you're contemplating the studio, especially if you're contemplating the base studio, right? If you're contemplating the base studio, um, you know, th there's there's, this this is definitely something that you should look at. And if you have the money, honestly, what I would do is I would just buy both of them and return one of them, right? Figure out which one you like. You got two weeks, you know, just kind of be like, oh, figure out which one fits my needs based on money, right? Now, if you need more, the best, right? Or more configuration options and choices, then of course, this go with the studio, you know, because the studio's, studio's a a killer machine and it's got crazy options from going from the you know the ultra to having all the ram to all the hard drive sizes to way more ports on it etc cetera, etc cetera. so if that's if that's a need then don't don't even bother right you got all the money have at her but i think for honestly i think for 70 to 80% of people that were on the fence with the studio, base studio, they're like, yeah, I kind of think I want it. That looks like it would be the machine. Uh, this probably is the machine right here. All right, guys, uh, quick video. I just wanted to share my thoughts on this after I've actually had the opportunity of using it for the past week and a half. Uh, my return date comes up in like two days, so I have to have to get it back. All right, guys, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and let me know uh, which one you would buy 
if you were going to buy a new Mac right now. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.